Mexican citizens took to the polls on Sunday for a first ever national referendum to decide the political fate of President Andres Manuel López Obrador. Outside this polling station in Mexico City, many seemed eager to cast their votes. I think the most important thing is that this exercise will keep happening in the future. Independent of this president, in the future this will be an opportunity that citizens didn't have in the past. I think it's good and positive. It makes our society politically active, and that's a valuable thing. The referendum on the presidency is a divisive topic in Mexico, one that has sparked demonstrations both for and against. Some critics are calling the referendum unnecessary, given that President López Obrador already has a nearly 60 percent approval rating. Others have argued the referendum is being manipulated by President López Obrador's party to rally supporters ahead of the next presidential election in 2024. In this process, rules set by Congress imply there cannot be a campaign by the president, nor can public resources be used for his ratification. Nevertheless, what we have seen are public servants from the president's party at every level basically campaigning for it. Some have even argued the vote could open the door to removing term limits in a country where presidents are only allowed to serve a single six-year mandate. Outside of the political debate, however, many social scholars have argued the new referendum process is ultimately a good thing for Mexican democracy. This and other forms of citizen participation are important and necessary as we confront the crisis of democracies. These mechanisms of direct democracy should serve to empower citizens in the public space and in the decision-making process. A recent national survey suggests that only as much as 27 percent of eligible voters will participate in the recall referendum, far below the 40 percent needed for the results to be binding. President López Obrador, however, has vowed to respect the outcome of the referendum and resign if he receives less than 50 percent of votes, regardless of voter turnout. Though polls have now closed, election officials say it could still take several days for the official count to be announced. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.